Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I cover my redness every day, how I even out my skin tone. This is a requested video by one of my lovely subscribers, I don't know if, you, if the person that commented this is subscribed or not, but I hope you are. I wanted to show you um, how I cover the redness, just how you requested, and I hope this helps someone out there. My skin is combination, I say this in most of my videos when it's about something with the skin, just so you know from the start my skin is combination so my t-zone gets uh, oily throughout the day a little bit not very oily it's mostly on the dry side the rest of my face is quite dry leaning on the dry side in general and i do have broken couplers in my skin i have one here i have a mirror in front of me so i'm looking at what i'm showing you i have broken couplers here and a bit there and overall my redness is in this area like that and a bit here on the side of my fore forehead yes on the side of my head yeah. now obviously my skin has makeup on but i'm going to show you how i do it after this section i have no ring light on at the moment so hopefully you are able to see me really well <clears throat> Uh, uh. throughout this video i have no ring light on because i wanted you to see exactly how my skin looks in the daylight when i have the redness on how it looks like after i cover it and i hope you oh, oh sorry I hope you're able to see this video really well. I know it's a bit darker because I have the ring light off But it's important for when I show you the skin to actually see exactly how it would look in daylight and in real life but Let's start the video. So when I start the day, I obviously wash my face with a cleanser I have Cetaphil at the moment and I am going to repurchase the Cetaphil because I like it And then I put some vitamin C on this is the pixie skin treats vitamin C serum I just have this at the moment, but that doesn't mean I absolutely adore it and I'm going to repurchase it. I'll see it. I don't know. Uh, but I do put this on first after cleansing uh, and the Clinique moisturizer, which I absolutely love. I keep on repurchasing this. But this is what I put on in the morning because it's just so easy just to do this, the pump, you know, and just put it all over my face. This is really moisturizing if you have skin that's dry or very dry or on the dry side combination but on the dry side how I do and I do use this every day because it's just so convenient put it on and no mess no stress and I do use at the moment the Ole Total Effect 7-in-1 anti-aging moisturizer with an SPF of 30 so I'm going to put this on because I don't yet have it on and I like the fact that this has a pump and then I'm going to go to the part where I cover my redness I don't have massive redness because I do take care of my skin a lot and I used to have a bit more but having redness it's influenced obviously by genetics first of all and also how you take care of your skin how well you clean your tools your makeup tools or anything that you might use on your face and I'm trying to get better at it uh, for a while I've purchased some isopropyl alcohol with which I disinfect the handles from the makeup brushes and also my compacts you know just the palettes or the whatever I touch you uh, pencils just do that every now and again maybe once every two weeks i disinfect everything as well as washing the brushes obviously that influences the redness too because i think you put bacteria on the skin i'm not a skin doctor or anything to explain the reasons but that's just common sense to me that i have to keep my makeup tools clean and i have to be gentle to my face and get products that are helping with redness usually so i put the spf on all over my face i really do like this moisturizer actually because you see i don't know if the camera picks this up but it just illuminates and gives me kind of like a pearlescent glow that this gives me so after i finish with the spf i go in with my redness corrector which is maluville's camouflage cream in the number 12 for my skin tone and this is aimed at redness this type of shade like that and i have this for a few months and i've been using this for years but not continuously i just know of this product since i was a teenager and um it was back then like Avon has an Oriflame, I don't know if Oriflame still exists, but like Avon has representants, representants, representant, representants, I think it's representants, uh, that uh, sell you the makeup products. And it was someone that represented Maloville's and I've ordered one that is in number 12 back in the day and one that's number three, which that's the one that covers dark circles. 
and I still have that but this little uh, box little bo container little container broke and I moved it in some other container but that's what's inside there is covering dark circles I haven't used it for a while specifically because I noticed compared with some other product that I have now that kind of dries a little bit just looks like my skin is a bit more drier but it's still a good covers really well if your skin is not on the dry side i would recommend that one too that's the only things that i have from malu Vils. i really like the brand i wish i would have access to more but they don't ship in the uk it's a european brand i think it's a german brand so this is the redness one you see it has like a really subtle green tint to it and you only need a little bit this this uh, cream is very dense and this stretches a long way, goes a long way. Even though this box is really small, it's gonna last for a while. I mean, I have this for months, maybe more than a year, and it's still going strong. Because you only need a little bit, and when you use this, you have to put a really thin layer. And this is the Dark Circles Camouflage Cream. It's really good, it just covers really, really well. I'm gonna put this... Uh, to show you today. I don't have massive dark circles, but I do have a bit of darkness in the inner corner under my eye there. I uh, use a brush like that. It's a synthetic brush. It's, you see, it just kind of, it's quite flexible. Like, I really like this brush. And the good thing about it is that it fits into this little container as well. If I really want to rotate it like that, it just fits in there. But I also have a little spatula here that I can uh, just scoop out a bit of product and just put it actually i'm gonna show you how little amount i need actually to do this this is how much i need little little amount i'm going to kind of stretch that a bit this blob on my hand so i can pick it up with the brush really easily i do wipe the spatula on some makeup remover that i have next to me here i do keep the spatula clean i wash it from time to time and i wipe it if each time i use it dip this brush the product here on my hand and you see i have broken capillaries here and just redness like that and this is the area where the redness is concentrating on my face and it just goes a bit here as well i also have it on this side but a bit less than on this side uh, but i do have some broken capillaries just here if you can see and overall redness like that and it can be worse some days and some days can be better but uh, if I also rub my skin it gets really red so okay I have the product on my uh, brush and I'm gonna concentrate it using like starting from here from this side where the mostly redness is where is the most redness and the capillaries are broken so I'm going to kind of diffuse it gently this this brush is very soft by the way I kind of drag a little bit but I'm like tapping motion that's how I do. I don't want to overly upset my skin because it's already red, you know. So I concentrate where the redness is and then I diffuse it towards the um, edges of my face and towards, you know, around it, like towards the nose here. And I take a bit more from this area if I think I need more because that's where the product is mostly concentrated. And so far I only dipped in once as you see. I'm gonna try not to cut and edit anything at this part so you can see that this is the only amount that I need um, for this. So take a bit more which I still have on my hand because it's thick and it just goes a long way. Putting it here first where the broken capillaries are and then stretching the product. And I hope the camera can pick this up but this immediately starts to show a difference just shows how well this product does and the secret with this product is to take a little amount and to stretch it stretch it in a thin layer because this product being so thick and like a thick cream you know a thick yeah i don't know how else i could describe that uh it can clog pores if you put a thick layer which i might have done back in the day when i used this product i was like oh my god it's so good and i've overdone it and I did get a bit of acne I don't know if it was related to this product but I might have uh, and my cleansing routine wasn't very good back in the day as well so keep that in mind um, I was sleeping with makeup on I wasn't cleansing using a cleanser I was using a, 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 a soap a normal soap a bar soap I know I know I had problems with acne back in the day and no surprise why because I wasn't 
educated about skincare enough back in the day and um, I didn't look into it back in the day. Who cared when I was a teenager? I had other things on my mind. Um, but yes, a good cleansing routine helps with not having clogged pores. But this product needs to be in a thin layer because then I go with foundation after this. Um, I'm going to show the result at the end after I did my makeup just so I can you can see how my makeup looks at the end But I'm not gonna bore you with putting foundation on on top of this and stuff because you can immediately see how good this product did anyway Sorry for the noise. It's outside neighbors uh, I'm not saying that this capillaries here the broken capillaries will be completely covered by this um, because it's not completely but you can still see, you see slight, I'm being realistic here and honest, you can still see a slight kind of a bit from the broken capillaries, but it's much better, much, much better uh, than how it was. And this product is so good in my opinion and it's so, it has such a power to cover that I don't know if any product would do better than this did here. So in whatever I have left, which is not much anymore, that's it, I kind of scooped the whole product up now. I'm just gonna put here at the nostrils where I do have natural redness. We all do, probably, I don't know if we all do, but usually these are the places where people with better skin get their redness as well a bit. And a bit here, just stretching this product. Just putting the air, I have a spot here, which I kind of just gonna dab a bit. And I already see a big difference. Sometimes when I'm in the mood to put makeup on at all, or I'm not feeling well, if I have a cold or something, you know, there are days like that when I just cannot be bothered to wear makeup and foundation and stuff, nothing. So, <laughs> I look so annoyed. Uh, I just put this product on if I still want to look decent. You know, not have like, look out like a tomato. I just put this product on. With some SPF, definitely, because even the day when I wash dishes or I'm in front of the window, I'm paranoid, I'm thinking I need SPF. It's not a product I hear a lot on the internet, but I don't know why, because it's such a good product. Um, yeah, but they don't ship in the UK, so if anyone from Malovils would watch this video, please ship to the UK, and I would love to use more of your products. <laughs> but uh, I love it, I love it very much, and now I'm going to show you how the Dark Circles number 3 one covers the dark circles. I am aware that I don't have a lot of darkness under the eye, but what I do have, I have a bit of darkness here, you see in the inner corner just there, like that, and since I was a child I had these lines like that, since I was a child, so it's not like I'm, I don't rest or anything, it's just uh, genetically, you know, just these lines are just like that, I don't like them, but I started making peace with what uh, my features are and you know, just accepting myself. I could use my spatula for this as well. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop out a little bit, even a littler amount than for my face. And the same, I'm gonna put it on my hand. And I notice on sunny days, helicopters are circulating more. And just with my ring finger, just gonna kind of dab here like that a bit. And I'm just gonna concentrate it just here where I have the darkness. I'm looking in the camera to see what you see because that's the only way I can see what I show you and dab you see already that dab there and just dab it like this and kind of go down that line that i have and concentrating here as well in the inner corner and the walls of my nose walls of my nose i don't know if that's a thing but maybe a bit here because you get that natural kind of shade like darkness here where the the outer corner just a little bit. I only need a little bit from these products. Okay. Can you see the difference? Because I can. And it's amazing. Um, it just it illuminated. It didn't erase that line that I have dented in my skin. Because that's how my skin looks. I didn't want to put the ring light on. It's not on at all. It's just the light that I get from the day. So you can see uh, how this looks. Now I'm going to do it on the other side. With whatever I have left on my hand which is a lot it's just a thin layer of this cream i'm actually not even adding much because that's it it's a thin thin layer i mean look at my hand i mean i see my uh inner corner there illuminated i don't see the darkness anymore and imagine on top of this i'm going to go with concealer powders and then on top of the redness camouflage cream uh with foundation powder bronzer and it just 
it looks so much better i know you can still see this for example a little bit a tint from it but imagine once i put the bronzer blush and you know it's just skin it won't be perf perfect because we're human so i accept my flaws and i accept that i have that there i made peace with it and that's the way it is but if you have more redness than me then you should you should give it a try you should just see if this product can help you as well or if you have broken capillaries like i do usually the redness comes with broken capillaries or maybe i'm wrong but just give this product a try and i'm gonna continue putting my foundation and the rest of my makeup and just at the end you're gonna see how my skin looks i don't like to clog my skin with a lot of coverage i like to uh, have these types of foundation and products that make my skin look uh like skin and as much as possible and not cakey or you know have a lot of product to cover i want the coverage but without the cakiness or without the I want to look as natu natural as I can. I just hate the cakey uh, look because even though it might look good on camera in the first few minutes, in reality, you can't, it's not practical. It's just gonna, it looks horrible in the daylight if it's a lot of makeup. So that's why I'm saying this is such a good product. If you use it wisely and you use it correctly in thin layers, in a little bit, that's why that little pot goes such a long way because you only need a little bit uh, okay i'll be back uh, at the end and show you how the makeup look turned out and voila this is the finished result after foundation concealer you know and the rest powder and bronzer and a bit of blush i did do my eye makeup i want to mention here that normally when i know i'm going to put makeup on my eyes i first start with my eyes and then after i finished my uh upper lid makeup on the eyes i then go in with what i just showed you i do with the redness and everything just because if i have any fallout from the eyeshadows then i have to remove them with some um, micellar water then put some spf back on some moisture back on because i just stripped my skin of oils when i've removed the fallout and therefore i leave all of those steps i leave my skin at the end when i do my makeup i first do my eyes then i go in with uh SPF and redness and stuff because I know I'm going to remove it anyway from under the eye but for the purpose of this video I want to show you how I just correct the redness and what I do lately on a daily basis I used to use this camouflage cream even last year or two years ago I, I am I have the, I have it for a while it just doesn't run out because I use a little bit because you only need a little bit I have an older video with this I'm just going to link it here above or in the description below i have an older video that involves the same product but uh, i don't know if i changed much since then maybe the way i the tool that i use to apply it with maybe but yeah it's an amazing product and i do recommend if you want to try it but sadly you can only find it on amazon if you live in the uk if you're in europe if you're somewhere in europe you can definitely have a look and see if you can get this i have my window next to me and i keep on looking on the street because people are passing and i'm just very <laughs> uh, curious so this was my video thank you so much for watching please hit like subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and click the notification bell and i'll see you in my next one bye you always play, 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 play.